All right, so day two of conclusion sentences. In the packet that you were given for this um, unit, there is a worksheet that's titled Writing Conclusion Sentences. This is going to be your assignment for today, and you actually are going to have two choices. If you would like to complete it on this worksheet, you are able to. You would just have to take a picture of it and submit it to the um, Google form that is attached to this assignment here. Otherwise, I also have this assignment attached as a worksheet on a Google Doc so that you can type in your conclusion sentence. Now, if you do that, I would highly suggest that you use a different color um, text, like make your uh, conclusion sentence red or something that's easy to read, but yet is different than this or underline it or highlight it so that I know it's your conclusion sentence. Okay, so we're going to practice writing conclusion sentences. You may want to have your um, uh, composition notebook open to the page that you took notes on yesterday. So each one of these three paragraphs on this sheet gives you the topic sentence and it gives you all of the supporting details. And in fact, some of them may have extra information attached to the supporting details. So I'm gonna to read to you the first one and just kind of um, give you an understanding of what you're going to be doing for this. So it says, Canada is one of the best countries in the world. First, Canada has an excellent healthcare system. All Canadians have access to medical services at a reasonable price. Second, Canada has a high standard of education. Students are taught by well-trained teachers and are encouraged to continue studying at a university. Finally, Canada's cities are clean and efficiently managed, and they have made or they have many parks and space for people to live. Now, you're going to read through each paragraph and figure out what the main idea of the paragraph is. So if you were to look at the topic sentence, I'm just going to underline it here just so you know that this is, oops, sorry, that this is the topic sentence. Canada is one of the best countries in the world. So if you realize that the paragraph is going to be about why Canada is one of the best countries in the world, you can probably guess that your supporting details are going to give you reasons why Canada is one of the best countries in the world. Okay, so then your conclusion sentence should probably kind of say this is why Canada is considered one of the best countries in the world. But we don't want to necessarily just flat out say that. So remember, we have our list of transition words in our composition notebook and now I'm flipping open to mine. I will put this right above this here. Okay, so we have let me shift my camera down a little bit. Okay, so we have some of these that we can use if we want. Otherwise we can just reword our topic sentence so that it fits um, as a conclusion sentence. So it's kind of like the top bun, bottom bun, introducing, summarizing. This is what we're going to talk about. This is what we talked about in this paragraph. So what I would do, and remember in my example in the notes yesterday, I said pick a few key words from here that you want to include in your conclusion sentence so that they do kind of um, match, that they kind of serve the same purpose. So for sure you want to say Canada. You probably want to say something about a, the best country in the world, or like such a great country, um, probably something along these lines. Okay, now um, I'm not gonna do this one for you because your assignment is going to be creating three conclusion sentences to the paragraphs that are given to you, but you may wanna use some of these keywords here. Um, if it helps you to circle, like I have, some of the keywords or kind of the main idea or the theme in each of the topic sentences, or maybe go through and look at your supporting details and go, okay, this is my first supporting detail. This is my second one. This is my third one. Look at different things that they talk about. They talk about healthcare system. They talk about education. They talk about um, like the environment of them, parks and space for people to live. All those three things are kind of talking about how people survive in these or what um, resources that Canada gives its residents. So maybe you want to kind of think about how you could include some of that. If you're not quite sure where to start with writing your conclusion sentence, think about what you can include or what, what was the main idea of the paragraph. Okay, Canada is one of the best countries in the world. Kind of saying the resources given to residents. So think of a way that you can summarize this paragraph by saying this is what was talked about or this is the main idea of this paragraph, okay? 
Um, so like I said, you have two options. If you want to do it on this worksheet, write it in with pen or pencil and then take a picture of it. You're more than welcome to. Otherwise, um, if you don't choose that and upload it to the Google form, you can do it online. I will have this Google Doc linked onto Google Classroom for this assignment as well. Thank you.